Fred Gonzalez and his wife, an Albuquerque Elementary School teacher's aide, shared a dark secret that landed them in jail, both accused of downloading and watching child porn. Both worked very close with children. We thought it was some sort of cruel prank when we first heard about it, and then we were stunned when we realized it was true and shocked and speechless. Jim Summer became president of Yaffle this morning after now former president Fred Gonzalez and his wife were arrested for manufacturing and distributing child porn. Today, the couple made their first appearance in court where the judge continued their bonds, which they posted today and were released from jail. None of us saw any red flags ever considered this, the, any, even the remotest possibility. Yaffle does background checks on volunteers and leaders in the organization. They say they automatically deny anyone who doesn't pass. We probably have 2,000 volunteers, or close to that, every year. So there are some no's. And Mr. Gonzalez's background check? Was a green light. We get a red or a green light, he was a green light. I looked at both the background checks. There was nothing on them. They did them two years in a row in June of 2011 and again in June of 2012. I don't know what an organization can do to protect themselves short of going into someone's home and looking at all of their computer stuff because that's what this is about. The Alpha board asked Albuquerque attorney Damon Eli to attend their emergency meeting this morning and advise them on the next steps. You could just tell being in that room that they were shocked that um, um, they were focused on making sure they did the right thing by their kids. This wasn't about the organization so much as let's make sure we do the right thing. As far as Yaffle's internal investigation, officials say they'll hire their own independent investigator to look at the organization's policies and procedures. They also have offered detectives access to all of their files. The organization sent an email to every parent whose kid is involved in the league. It has not said if any children have come forward with accusations of wrongdoing against Gonzalez. Back to you. All right, thanks, Tina. Now, Carrie Gonzalez worked as a kindergarten aide at Montezuma Elementary. She's now on paid suspension. A man who robbed an Albuquerque bank today may not be on the run for too long after surveillance.